We awakened 50 fighters. Nice. Hey, what's up, you guys? Yes, welcome back to another episode. Last time we did this, the Zelda area to the left, to the bottom left. Uh, this time we're gonna do the skill tree. Fuck it. We got a lot of um, points and stuff, so we're gonna just redeem them. 400, holy fuck. Okay. Should we get edge grab? Sure. Should we get air attack? No. Let's get air attack plus plus and then regular air attack plus. Come on. Uh. Easier perfect shield? Sure. I don't know what that means. Oh, I, the activity rate it goes up. Okay. Um. Healing item attraction. Sure. And I think that's enough for now. So, yeah. We did it. I literally just picked random things like I do in any fucking skill tree. But anyways, uh, I think we're going to go this way. Save the top for last. Why? I don't really know. But anyways. Holy fuck. I don't remember that thing from Bayonetta, honestly. So basically, Ganondorf honestly might be my favorite spirit in the game. Favorite character in the spirits mode. And that's just because uh, this is the combo I do with him always. So you get him, you get Victini, and where's the Zapfish? The great Zapfish. Oh god, uh. Fuck. This is gonna take forever. Uh. No, but it's the one that makes you fucking massive. Where is it? Oh my god, there he is. Okay, so the great Zapfish, and this, this is the combo I always do again, Dorf. He's so fucking overpowered. I think the only co the only character that like is low key better in this mode is Hero, but because he can get a crit. So you literally, Doya. So if you want to cheese through the mode pretty easily, that's the way you fucking do it. Grab Ganon and just kick some fucking ass. So yeah, that that's like the combo I usually do like when I play Spirits mode. Because it's easy to beat them, you don't have to think too much about it, you just get the dub real quick and don't have to worry about it. Ooh, okay. We'll take off the combo, obviously, I think. But I kind of want to fight this guy. So like, let's fight, let's fight Crazy Hand as Ganondorf, but like, we'll go back to the other spirit. I just want to fight him as big Ganon, Ganon, so don't, don't think too much about it. Yeah, the hyper smash attacks in the, the giant makes him so overpowered. That smash attack is really strong. Look, look, just look how big we look. Look at that, bro. I mean, yes, we are a bigger target, so I don't know if he'll be that effective on a boss. Also, he... Ganondorf is, like, the easiest character to get, like, max on classic mode with because he's just so fucking, like, the way you could... His moveset is just so easy to cheese because his attacks are so... His smash attacks are so fast and strong. So it's, like... Nothing crazy. Like, I don't know. All that for me to probably lose the first time on. No... I know we're not really doing any other attacks. Ganondorf is a clone of Captain Falcon, and up until this game, he even had like the same smash attacks, but like they changed it for this game. Now he has like the swords, which is, I think is cool, because he is usually a sword fighter, just like Link. Oh, yeah. This better fucking kill. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. I could have killed him like five seconds ago, but yeah. Kill ourselves. You can't kill yourselves during like something like that, by the way. There's like a, like it turns off the blast zone. I don't even know how to describe it. Like you just can't. It's very weird. I don't know. I don't design game. I just play. It. But anyways, Crazy Heron has been defeated. And I'm not gonna do that, but uh. Let's go back down here. Let's go get whoever's in that thing. I'm assuming there's gonna be someone weird. Gravity man. Yeah, that is a pretty weird guy. 
Let's turn off low gravity and easier dodging shit. So yeah, now we'll actually try to replay play this again and like normally, normal-ish. Instead of spamming Doya, Doya. I don't know, this is stamina. But uh, yeah. It's kind of weird that he's in low gravity and I'm not. This stage is awesome. It's so nice looking. Um, he, has either, he has even had like a falcon punch. This is his neutral special. He has like a falcon kick too. His up B is very similar too. And his side B is this, literally the same fucking thing. Just like different variants on the attacks. Why is he a captain falcon punch? I have no fucking clue. I guess they didn't really know what to do with him in melee. Or maybe they didn't have time to make... They wanted to add him, probably, and they just didn't have time. Because of uh, time constraints or whatever. That final spell is sick. Wait, this is rock off. What am I doing? Come here. See? You don't even. I forgot we can cheese block off, but yeah, you're getting. He's basically a calling a Captain Falcon, but stronger and slower. Pretty f fucking cool, I guess. Not really, honestly. Okay, I guess we gotta leave the guy here because that's what we do every time we see one of these things. Gravity style. Octo Link can learn gravity style. Splatoon 3 should be. No, it is gonna be out by now. What am I saying? It's, gonna... it's been out for like a month when this comes out. Okay, anyways. We can just, yeah, this is just takes us to there, okay. Okay, uh. I don't know why this area reminds me of Legends Arceus for some reason. It's probably just me being fucking weird. But, anyways. Cracko from. Uh, Kirby. I almost had a brain fire, I don't know why. It's pretty obvious. Cracko's fucking sick, mate. Oh, yeah. Okay. Krakow is in. Alrighty. Sorry about that. What the fuck just happened? Why did we go, like, really fast? Are we, like, sliding? Uh... I, I guess so. I, I don't know. Yeah, I guess that's like the gimmick of this area. We have to like slide. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Let's just fight these fuckers. We need to hit fight. Even though we have the low gravity on, I don't know why. Oh god. Wild Gunman. A game that used the zapper. Holy fuck. Oh, I see. That's cool. That was a cool gimmick. I like the idea of that one. But it was kind of lame in execution. Because you just kind of just easily kill everything in your fucking path. Anyways. How do we get to that spirit? We go. This one. No. No, wait, what? Bro, what? No, we can only go that way, so wait. Go up. Go down. I'm assuming this takes you there. There we go. Snacks. The three sacred treasures. Okay. I think it's kind of weird when, like, um, project- not projectiles, um, objects get spirits, because I feel like the whole thing of the spirit is, like, the character encapsulated into, like, a thing. I don't know. But it's like weird because the, this is object. I mean, Pit was in the rendering, I think. I'm pretty sure that was Pit. I mean, I never played. 
Probably port it. I think they will, honestly. I think that's probably his next project, like, genuinely. Just a port. Nothing's crazy. I mean, it'll be a little crazy. I think Sakurai, knowing him, I don't think he'll just do a straight port, though. He'll probably do something different. He wants the rebuys, definitely. Like, people who bought the game on 3DS. Maybe they'll expand it. Maybe they'll do, like, some epilogue-type shit like Xenoblade did. I don't know. But I could see, I think that is the port Bandai Namco is working on. Because they said a 3DS game. Right? That's like a rumor. It might have been announced by now, honestly. Actually, I don't know. Because Sakurai... Sakurai couldn't be, like, that involved with the DLC, right? Like, he he's involved, but he's not, like... Every day he's there. Like, I don't know. Right? Like, I don't know. He, has a, he just kind of plans it out, probably. He's like, yo, team, do it. I don't know. I'm not really sure. They don't really. Nintendo doesn't really go into the process of stuff like that, really, usually. It's interesting, though, to think about. I'm gonna doy all this motherfucker. Doy all. I wanted to spike him, but, like. Was it worth it? Probably not. What do I mean by that? Like, uh... I could've killed if I used it right. But I didn't. There we go. So yeah, that's cool. I can't, I'm, I'm sure, I'm like 90% sure, like, I'm recording this at the very beginning of September, like, f less than, like, six days in, so, so is the fifth right now, <laughs> I wasn't sure, where the fuck am I going, wait, what, did I, like, miss that, I didn't even know that was an option, like, what, how do I even, so we haven't run into a character, like genuinely. I'm sure we will in like the next five minutes, right? Surely. Sure. What the hell is going on? How do we get down there? Oh shit! We need like. Guys, I'm lost. What? Hold the hell up. No, wait. Go up. Go down. What is happening? I don't understand. Oh, wait. Okay. Huh? Okay. That just happened. Let's assume we did it. Loki from Bayonetta. This is a very Bayonetta-ish area. Yeah, but like I was saying, I'm pretty sure a direct is going to happen soon. They didn't do one for June, but I'm pretty sure that's because they didn't really have shit to announce. And I feel like now they do for next year. Especially for next year. Because our year is already stacked this year for games, I feel like. Like, I think the most we can expect this year for a Direct is, like, a port. Hopefully, I swear, I'm praying. I'm praying. Like, dead ass. Like, I want Twilight Princess and Wind Waker on the Switch so bad. I, I wish I was a Zelda fan when I played on, when they came out on Wii U. And not with, like, this generation, because I've only really started liking Zelda with uh, Link's Awakening, and then that made me like Breath of the Wild and Skyward Sword, because I tried those games because I like Link's Awakening because of that. I don't know. So I went back and tried them. And I don't feel like going, getting it on. I thought about actually buying it on the Wii U when the, the shop was closing, but I was like, a part of me was like, surely... They'll either port these games or, like, do GameCube online with them. So I was like, 
I can wait, I think. So that's what I did. Uh, why am I rambling still? What is this like? So we have to check like every path of this. Okay, so it, you, we don't know what's on here because it was blocked. That's like what the gimmick is. Okay, I get it. Let's just go the Meta Knights. Is that what his crew's called? The Meta Knights? I did not know that. I just know him that this is his like crew, I think. No, it's not. It's like the enemies you fight on your ship. I'm assuming it's 1v1s, because Meta Knight, that's just how Meta Knight fucking rolls. No, it's not. Okay. Come here. Bye. Boya. Anyways. We win. GG's. Okay, uh... This Pokemon is cool. Uh, it just reminds me of Heart Gold, though, and Soul Silver, and how I fucking don't- I want to play it so bad. Even though I'm not, like, a big Pokemon fan. I think G DS genuinely has the best Pokemon, in my opinion. And I... am not really a huge Pokemon guy, but I really want Black White, I want Black White 2, and I would love to play Heart Gold. And, Di and Diamond's pretty fucking solid, too. So, all of those games are just so good. Like, I don't think this is a generation that has a chance of beating it. Unless, like, this one... Unless uh, Scarlet and Violet are really that, like, a promising future. Which is possible, but, like... I don't know. We'll have to see. Genuinely. Oh god. Why do I feel like we're gonna take forever on this guy? Holy. Okay. This guy is a fucking nut bag, I don't know. It just gave me more stamina as it. Okay. Is this guy three stars? I mean, not three stars, I don't know. Five stars? We need range. We need range, don't we? I know somebody with range. I feel like the best way to beat this guy is actually cheesing him. Like, genuinely. It's the fact he's on fire. It's so nice. Bye. Like, go away. Oh, if I spiked him, that would sick. Okay. I know somebody with range. She happens to be a DLC. And comes right after Byleth, and I fucking can't stand this fucker. I hate Min Min. I actually don't like Min Min at all. I hate that she's in this game. No, actually, she's a cool character. But I don't like how she plays, and I think there would have been cooler arms characters to pick over her personally. But, anyways... I like her alts. Her alts are cool. She has probably one of the better alt selections. Uh, I usually rock with the the red all, honestly. That's or this one. That one's sick too. But anyways, we're gonna go basic. Minmin. Minmin is is cool. I like Minmin. No, I don't. Why am I? I'm lying. I literally said I didn't like Minmin. I literally lied. I no, because when I mindlessly talk, I just. I just say shit like that. I lie. So, look at that range. Okay, maybe this was not a good idea. Okay, so Min Min works really weird compared to the other cast. The other people in the cast. Where, um, it's really hard to fucking show here. It really is. But, basically, instead of neutral special and size special and all that stuff, a is one arm. A is the dragon arm. B is the other arm. So that's basically how it works. It does. She's not traditional at all. Like literally, she has no one button does one arm, one button does the other arm. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's really fucking weird. 
uh, her down B changes out one of her arms because that's you can change the tip of your arm, like your glove, I guess, in arms. I don't really know. So look, it has that spinny thing first, the quick spinny thing. Down B, it, now it turns into the big, this big like heavy ball that like hurts. It's heavy. It's slower and heavier. Also, you could do aerials with each attack. Like, it's so hard to do show off. I'm sorry right now. But this is probably the best way to do it. Okay, so the slower arm. The. Oh my god, this is horrible. Okay. Okay, okay. So, look, see? I'm doing neutral special with my B arm. I mean, neutral error with my B arm. Right? And now I'm doing it with my A arm. It's very fucking weird. I, it's very, she's very weird to control. That's another reason I don't like her, honestly. She has another, like, grapple recovery where her arm just fucking reaches. It's cool, but, like, we're not playing her right. We need to, like... She was an interesting way to kick off the second DLC, I feel like. That's, that's the best way to say it. Arms is kind of a shit game, like, low-key. So yeah, uh, the third option for arm is another dragon. I just fucking had it and I switched it. Bro, this is gonna be crazy. So yeah, that, that's basically the best way. She has aerials with her beat. She doesn't have it really as specials. Well, she does, but like... She kind of does, like, her down B's are special, and that changes her B arm. Like, it's so, like, you don't understand, guys. It's very fucking, like, weird. It's a weird, uh, it's a weird thing, like, I don't know. She's very weird compared to the rest of the cast, like I said. Personally, I don't like rocking two dragon arms. I feel like it's kind of useless. Genuinely. That's probably the best way we have to beat this guy, genuinely. But. I don't know. It sucks. Oh, God. Like her up B, you can only do it her up B. You can't do up A. Up A is a tilt. Or an up air. But her, her attacks like up air, that she can't do it her B attack is a kick attack. So it doesn't use the arms. So it's so, it's a lot, I know. I'm probably not doing a good job at explaining Min Min either, but like you get it to an extent. B spat, B air, there's bears now. I guess, like, not back air, but like, B button airs with the other arm. It's very weird. She works very differently for some reason. I don't know why. Oh my god, we're gonna fucking die. Alrighty. Huh? I don't even know what happened there. 
I thought we were losing. I was like, wait, is this guy legendary? Yeah, he is. Okay. Uh, I was very fucking confused. Because that was the attempt where I was going to go quiet and just, like, go try hard. Well, not try hard, but, like, just keep playing quietly and then edit it out. But, like, ooh. Oh, fuck. I didn't know there would be a fight here. It's okay. We'll start with a. We'll start with somebody else. How the fuck we get there? Oh. Oh, it's a fucking echo. It's an echo of a character we fucking played as twice already. Okay, but this should be a better showcase of Minmin. Her up B is this on the ground and not on the ground. It's like a. It's a grapple, which is pretty sick. You need to be ranged with Minmin. Look how long that range is, bro. Her grab is long too. Look at that. That's fucking crazy. Right, this is her. This is an aerial with the B, the A, and this is what with the B. Switch it out to the bigger one. You could do a B smash attack as well. A smash attack with your B arm and a smash attack with your A arm. It's very weird. She plays different from the rest of the guys. That's why I think I don't like her as well, honestly. But it's okay. Her uppy is a reflect, which is, I think, a pretty interesting... Not her uppy, her up smash reflects, because that's, like, a thing she did in arms. Like, if there's a projectile. If you hit A with your dragon arm, you could shoot a laser. I don't think we sh I did it right there, but anyways. Lucina, we'll play as her next episode, but... We needed somebody with range, and we found them. <laughs> also, I didn't feel like playing as fucking Ganondorf anymore, that guy sucks. Also, I felt like this would be a nice way to play as um, Min Min and get her over with because I'm not a huge fan of how she plays, honestly. Anyways, that should be... No. Wait. That might be the actual... That's actually the right way, I think. Because we go this way. We didn't go this way yet, right? And it's going to take us, like, right there. Yep. Okay, so, like, a few more battles. Quick man. Cool guy. Quick man is a cool guy, like genuinely. No, I'm just kidding. He's not. He kind of sucks. He reeks. Bro reeks. I swear to God. Oh, also like each, like look at that way he, this one moves, the fast one. It goes like up and down. It, it, it's cool. It's a cool gimmick. I, I appreciate what they were going for, genuinely. But like, I don't know. She plays very different. Which I, I think is nice for the DLC. It's a nice way for them to go about it, I feel like. Because I, I, I don't know. Like I said, it makes the characters feel like worth paying for more than like someone like the base roster, I feel like. Where they're just kind of like them, you know? But like these, they're... Nah, but I feel like the DLC, they went above and beyond, which is nice. It's really nice. I mean, some of them are more basic than others. I feel like Byleth, for example, is very basic. Same with Plant. Um, but everyone else has, like, something. Oh, Banjo, too, is pretty basic. But, like, everyone else, like, Terry has the inputs, the Go meter. Joker has Arsene. Hero has, like, the crits and, like, the whole down B, like, random shit. RNG, I guess this is a gimmick. Uh, Min Min has like the R, like the B button and A button thing controlling one arm, plus like the fucking range, I guess, too. Sephiroth, I'm not really sure. Steve has building, that's fucking obvious. But I, I, that's why I didn't even say it. Kazuya has like fighting game shit, he does a lot of little combos and all that. Um. Who else? Sora. Sora doesn't really have one either, I'd say. He's kind of a, a fun basic character, though. He's fun to play as. I wouldn't say he has a gimmick. Other than that, I guess he goes like... He can zoom through the fucking air. I don't know. Who else? No, I feel like I missed one. Empire and Mephra can switch. Duh, that's fucking obvious. Bruh. Why is that even a thing? Wait, where's your fucking way? Oh, the fucking... There we go. Gray Fox. 
Okay. Solid snake. Ready? Go! Oh god. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of how far. I'm not really a fan of playing as Min Min or fighting Min Min. So it's like one of those things. Plus, I don't like arms like as a game. And I don't feel like it really deserved to be in this in Smash. Because it did not hit the same way Splatoon did. And I think they wanted it to, but it just didn't. And honestly, I hope we never see some something done with arms again. Like, genuinely. Like, I mean, I don't... Why are they in Smash? I guess because I guess... I think they thought, like, maybe it'd be a bigger deal than it was. Try to revive the game by giving it a Smash character, but I don't think that really did anything. I don't know. Plus, I think they wanted an ARMS character in the base roster, but it was too early to, like, do something like that. Oh, damn it. Yeah, you can't do final smashes on assist trophies, which. Not really. I was gonna say that sucks, but not really. Bro. Wait, I can show you guys. Do up smash. Come on, I wanna fucking reflect. There you go, we did it. Okay. We just teched on. I just teched on accident. I meant to, like, air dodge. Oops. <laughs> this is taking a lot longer than I expected it to be. Oh god, I'm tired. Too tired for this. Aren't we all? No, you guys aren't. We should probably, if we die, actually, can we like, see you guys in the next one? No, I'm fine. I want to change the party. Because I feel like we've been on this for too long. Assist killer, fist day. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. Min Min is she, she's, she's cool. But I don't like her. The cool idea. Cool on paper. But like in game. Like I don't know. I don't like that. I don't know. Bye. Come here. I'll fuck you up. Bye. There we go. That took way longer than it should have. Anyways. Um. I think that's gonna be it. This is a shorter one, but honestly, I don't really mind that after, like, the last two were pretty long episodes, I'd say. Uh, all we can really do is finally stop playing as Min Min. Min. Bye, Min Min. Steve, you're next. Oh, I can't wait for that. Can he build in this one? I don't even know if he can. Like, genuinely. We're most... We're mostly through the DLC. I'm trying to get... I'm trying to slowly get through them, kind of. I feel like we really kicked it up, though, like... A few, like, ten episodes ago, though. We've been trying to get them faster. Uh, I was about to... I was staring at the screen. Lucina has... All right, all it's... Lucina might be my favorite, to... Honestly, out of, like, the five... The four of them. Maybe Roy, I don't know. But, like... Her gimmick is instead of a tipper, she has like the opposite. So like the end, like the side of the sword closer to her does more damage. I'm pretty sure. So yeah. But anyways, thank you guys. That's besides the point. Thank you guys for watching today's episode. If you liked it, thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Wait, 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 wait! Don't go yet. We gotta get a thumbnail. Uh. That works. Alright. 
for the time. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, no. See you guys in the next one. Bye.